What's up, my precious little pack, and welcome back to Vig Conflict once more. I have more information to share about the next few ships that are being added and stuff like that. We have the Kingpin Battleship, which is the equivalent of the Altarian ship, and again, this is going to be a huge mistake on Kickside's part, because again, we already know what the Paragon does, and it's going to be the same thing, but we also have a frigate, the Phoenix frigate. That looks a lot like the... what's the name of it? The Raven. Let's go ahead and let's run down the stats of both these ships, and this is what this video is going to be about. And I'm going to include some information on anarchy and things like that. Repair time, 1 hour, 2 minutes, 15 seconds. Health, 7,470. The mass, 14,210 tons. Cargo, a million, yeah. That ship speed, that is a very fast moving frigate moving forwards. Stray speed, 280, so that's typical. 330, alright, typical. Increased carrier damage, 30%. Increased armor health by 15%. Shield damage 100%, and this is the next. This is the next variation of the. This is the faction that comes after the Altarians, and it has an insane amount of counter chain. Not even the Bastion at mark at the elite mark upgrade has that much. It only has three, and this thing comes stock with eight. It has very very high increased shield damage. It has 50% alien resistance. It has no resistance against plasma, which is weird. However, we get this blood hunt. Okay, that's a bit odd. Drawing on the energy from being inside an enemy's carrier support field sends ship to a hunting mode, which boosts its carrier damage by another 20%, so it's doing 50%. gets 50% shield bypass, increases the ship's speed by 50%, Increases the turning speed by 50%, and gives it a bunch of resistances. 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. It even has void resistance for some reason. Why are we getting a ship that has void resistance when it's a standard ship? And my guess is those resistances will go up as it's mark upgraded. My guess at max will probably be 20 or 25%. But that is a little bit absurd, especially that movement speed. Without putting thrusters or anything on it, it's already going to have 600 meters per second movement speed forwards. And that just gets insanely quick moving forwards. And that's a frigate. I thought they didn't want to add frigates to the game anymore. I thought they were supposed to be replaced by specialist class ships. But I guess that's going to be one of the two prizes, the other being the Kingpin and the upcoming Ashes event. However, I... I we'll have to wait and see what it comes with. Because I don't think any weapons have been un unveiled. Have they? Armor? Weapons? No? I know everything that we have right now for the Altarian faction can be equipped. Well, a bit of it can be equipped. Actually, is it only weapons? Huh. Only weapons can be equipped on them. And they're the unknown. Okay. So we still don't know their faction's name. However, from the look of this ship, it looks a bit like the Raven, which was a reward ship for an event a while back, while I, even before I started playing, or during the time frame where I wasn't playing the game for that like two year time span. But this looks a bit insane. Let's uh, let's compare it to a cutter. That is just insane. And that blood hunt ability, whenever it's inside a carrier support field, it gets faster going forwards gets that increased damage versus carriers. It's literally built to hunt carriers. That's a bit weird. We'll have to wait and see what it does in game. Okay, let's take a peek at Anarchy. 
Is it same price list as before? Yep, exact same price list. So literally just copy and paste the price list from the last time if you have the time I would recommend going after the Sovereign Carrier parts, the Bastion, then the Inquisitor, then the Paragon, then the Cavalier. Or alternatively replace the Cavalier and pick up the Prophet Flagship because you don't need an Alliance. Pick up Void Resonant Armor 1, pick up Void Shell 1, pick up a Resurgence, the Resurgence system just for the fun of it. Pick up a few, not yellow jacket, where's Fury, Fury Wings down here, or alternatively, if you don't want to do heavy XP increase, don't pick up any and go right for the armor, which is kinetic resistant. And that's about it. That's going to be it for this video, everybody. The Phoenix frigate is looking quite interesting, and... Honestly, I can't wait to see where it goes. But that's going to be it for this video, everybody. What do you guys think of the Phoenix Frigate and its stats as it is right now? I have no problems with how it is, other than the fact that it has void resistance, and as a standard ship, it shouldn't have void resistance at all. The rest of the resistances from its overdrive, well, its hunt, seems just fine to me. But, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out in game, and things like that. Since we didn't have a frigate for the Altarian faction, we can't compare it to anything of the Altarian faction, so... This is a bit odd. And I didn't see any other special boosters or anything like that, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how it plays out. I'm just thinking here for a minute, trying to think of anything else that I may have missed. Oh, recommended targets for the Anarchy event. Actually, what am I doing? I can stay in the base. Let's go ahead and let's take a peek at the Anarchy event's targets list. Let's see what each one drops. Okay. Uh, Yellow Jacket for the Blitz Deceiver. I can never recommend any of the high level targets because they're typically not balanced unless they're the same as all previous versions, which case then I would recommend going for the highest level. Let's see. Pillager 70s, drop Blackguard Fragments, Void Redeemer Missiles. Up is 15, and Ranger Wing, Red Wing, Blue Tail Wing, okay, Vanguard 70, Residential, Cavalier, never understood why they did that, Regiment 80, Residential, Battleship, okay, Hunter Wing 3, so you could literally attack the Pillagers, outrange them with the strategy I showed last time, provided they're the same set up and you can farm all of this stuff. Um, other ships, can't recommend them. Outposts. 110. There aren't that many prizes this... well, there aren't that many targets this time around, are there? Well, that's a shame. Well, prize list is extremely short. The recommended targets list is pillagers, just like what I was doing before. Alternatively, you can target the... Actually, there wasn't low level of much else, so... If you don't go after pillagers, I could recommend going after the... Blitz Deceivers, because they're pretty easy. You can do the exact same thing. You just outrun them with the... Sovereign Dreadnought and just destroy them all. But that's going to be it, everybody. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. And as always, everybody, I'll see you later.